Hey guys, Adrian here on the behalf of TechSocial.com. Today we're taking a look at Bright Wall Dark Room. So this is a new monthly film magazine that is uh, actually focusing on gathering personal and creative responses to different films, uh, a different lens on, on the medium, if you will. So basically they offer original content, uh, engaging content, all the good stuff, all over uh, you know different kinds of films, old, modern, all the good stuff uh, that you can really enjoy and all that. So it's a subscription model. The app itself is free. And I'm going to go through a little bit of what you get free and uh, if you want to subscribe, what you get there. So basically, uh, the subscriptions can be managed via iTunes. Uh, payment will be charged via your iTunes account here. And you can see it's a really nice, uh, neat interface here to read magazines. Again, it's available for both iPhone and iPad and has a really nice high texture, high quality. You can see the issues here on the left. Basically, you have issue one, issue two. It shows the issue date when they are published there. And if you want to subscribe, you simply just click on it here. You can see all the posts and kind of a small description of who wrote it, the, uh, you know, the post here. And if you want to check out the issue, you have to subscribe. So if you click on any of the posts here, it will prompt you to subscribe. So you can see here you want to subscribe for one month for only $2, which is a pretty affordable price. And again, you get uh, access to all the issues there. So reading it here, if I click on the welcome post here. You can see the forward. And I'm reading the forward. You can swipe left to right on any page here to reveal the main menu. So it's a nice little gesture-based interface. You can just scroll uh, down and up to go through the actual story. And you can see here on the retina display, the text looks really high quality, really, you know, uh, again, really, really crisp, clean. They have links there you can click through. If they have pictures, you'll see those as well. And again, you can just really go through here and at the very bottom, you'll get information like the author and the post uh, when it was dated. Now, clicking in the corners allow you to get the hot buttons here. So on the top right, if you really enjoy an article, it has sharing options. You can email it, message it, tweet it, post to app.net, copy it, and or post it to the Facebook wall. So that's a nice little addition there. On the bottom left, you can adjust your settings. They have some nice settings here, like you can adjust your brightness here. So I can take this and toggle the brightness. This is, again, convenient for when you're reading at night or anything like that if you don't want the screen to be too bright. Uh, you can adjust the actual text size. So you can see as I do this in the background there, I can make it really small or I can make the text really, really big if that's what I want to do. And you can also have some other options like subscribe and restoring your subscription. Now, swiping in, you can see here the text is much more bigger now. Again, it's, it's nice because it gives you that uh, ability to... Uh, either enhance the text size up or down that way you can get you know just perfect for how you want to read it there and again it features a bunch of issues more issues are to come out and again you can see all these stories included in each issue there they have tons of stuff and again if you're a fan of film and you want to get a nice magazine based on that this is definitely worth checking out it's an independent subscriber supported magazine they have no ads and they never plan on running ads so it's an ad free experience once you pay for the subscription fee it's a really great reading experience straightforward nothing no clutter you can see here just on the example forward really clean straight to the point this is bright wall dark room you can find it for free for the iphone and ipad in the app store today